Hello guys, this is Daniel Hood at HavenOfCode.com and I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to uh, how radiosity works and we're going to make a glow effect on this cube. I'm going to explain how radiosity works. Um, so first before I explain how radiosity works and how we get this glowing effect cube um, <clears throat> we're going to get our default scene with a cube that has no material set to it and we're going to add a plane by pressing space and then go to plane and I'm going to press 1 to go into the x-axis on the negative side and press size press 7 grab and should know this already. I'm going to provide a tutorial on some basic uh, ways to move stuff in Blender. And I'm going to size that so it fills up the camera. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to explain radiosity. Radiosity turns a mesh like this cube into a light. And uh, this light will. Uh, emit like a light whatever color you want whether it be you know I don't know if you know any science about Kelvins or anything but it's about the color of the light um, <clears throat> we're gonna emit light from this cube and this surface under it is gonna be affected by it like it's gonna like the glowing from this is gonna glow green onto this bottom layer and depending on what color it is, it's gonna it's gonna render what color of this plane. It's gonna depend on uh, what color it's gonna do. So we're gonna add a material to the plane. We're just gonna you have to add a material to every single object when you're doing radiosity. And we're gonna select the color under coal is white. Go to your cube and make a new material for your cube and we're gonna say we want blue light alright so change the color to blue and go into your shaders and the object that you want to have emit light set the ambience to zero and emit to 0.1 how much you set the emit to will uh, be the intensity of the light coming from each face on this object and you just want to go to your object that you want to emit light and then uh, go into edit <coughs> edit place right there and make sure you're in edit mode select all the vertices and select draw normals and turn up the end size and that will <clears throat> show your normals. If I press d W and uh, click flip normals, what that will do is change the directions of those normals and the way the normals are pointing is th where your light is going to be pointing. So we want it to be pointing outside of the mesh, okay? And you can click draw normals and divvy up the end size and you can see which way your normals are pointing so you know which way your light is pointing okay so we're in a cube go to materials make sure you, you set the ambience down on this material to zero and the emit oh I'm sorry I select the plane I'm gonna set the ambient back to 0.5 ambience alright so I want this to emit 0.1 not too much because that's like a lot of light coming from each face there's six faces on this cube as you can see there's six lines pointing out of each face alright alright I'm gonna press 0 to go into the camera oh yeah take out this lamp X1 okay Press 0 to go into the camera view. Make sure our materials are set correctly. Ambience is set to 0. Emit is set to something above 0. And the 
other object that's being affected by the light is set to radio. I think it's default and the cube is set to radio by default. Alright. <clears throat> okay. So and then we're ready to set up the radiosity. So uh, let's just go into our radiosity buttons. Select all of the meshes that you want to have affected by radiosity. Select all the meshes and then press collect meshes in the radiosity tool and the object that is white is has an emitter set to above zero and the object that is set to zero is uh, the normal coal color. Alright, and after you do that you press uh, calculate to go. Alright, and uh, you want to set it to Gower. It changes all that pixelated stuff into smoothness. Alright, and after you got that calculation done, you want to render it out. But before you can render it, you go into Render Panel uh, by pressing F10, and then you press Radio, Enable Radiosity Rendering, set R A D I. Bam, click that, make sure it's highlighted, and go back into your radiosity buttons. Uh, radiosity. And then press replace meshes if you think this looks right. Press replace meshes. Alright, and what that does is it takes all of your objects and it, it puts them into one object. Like if you press on, if you right click on the your scene that you included all your objects, it'll take all of those objects that you collected, all those meshes, and put it into a put it into one object and when you press edit you can select everything inside there. So <clears throat> press zero and now you're all set up to render. Press F twelve. And this might take a long time. Uh, oh wait, no, it didn't take that long. Bam! You got some light going on. I don't know, this is pinkish stuff going on. I don't know why, but you can probably figure it out for yourself uh, by exper experimenting with this. And I hope this helped you. This was made with 2.49B Blender at blender.org or blender.com, wherever it is. Search it on Google. It's a very powerful program. Um, and just experiment with this radiosity and follow the steps exactly how I set them. If you can understand them right now, I don't know. I might make a better version of this tutorial but happy blending oh yeah I want to show you guys a little thing I made with it um, I kinda imported it into Photoshop here's a render yeah I made this little render and I set all these objects to emit the ones that are all glowing and I set these ones to just a white color and I did some weird stuff to this text, but I don't know. Get some ideas. This is a background to like a website. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with Blender. I do not recommend using Blender uh, animating this with radiosity. You can animate with radiosity if you want, but you better have a render farm full of you know at least ten computers. Otherwise, it's going to be days and weeks for your whole you know five minute animation at thirty frames per second you know what i'm saying but yeah so that's a render result right there um... i hope this helped you and hit me up at havenacode.com peace